his leg just constantly bouncing. He's sweating. His eyes just darting everywhere. He just doesn't look like a trustworthy person based on his body language alone. Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host Pinky and today we're going to be talking about Love is Blind. So if you'd like to see more than just stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this video. There were only two weddings. So yeah, they really jacked this season up. This show already was going downhill, but this season was particularly terrible. Be looking for more Love is Blind videos outside of the episode reviews because i'm going to be talking about the couples that were not featured this season i'm going to be talking about you know all the drama that's happening outside of the show a lot of this stuff could have been avoided had they vetted these people properly as well as not handling the problems that came up properly I feel like the ball was dropped in so many areas that it could like it didn't even have to be this way from what we're hearing allegedly but you know like i said i'm going to be discussing that on separate standalone videos so look forward to that i'm going to go ahead and start with izzy and stacy this is their wedding day stacy kept going on and on about how this dress was so unique and oh i just have to do my hair simple because the dress is just so oh it's just so amazing and it's just like girl that look like every other wedding dress i've ever seen in my life like what was so special about that wedding dress i really thought i was about to see something like unique or out of the box um maybe a different color something it just it just wasn't it wasn't giving unique anyway she was low-key roasting izzy like <laughs> mind you her family loves izzy they have nothing but great things to say about izzy i don't know do they know the full story or not but they love him they want him to be a part of the family and they're you know bringing up izzy and she's like yeah he don't even have a passport and his favorite restaurant is chipotle you you could tell he ain't been nowhere i was like okay she basically was saying he has an uncultured palate and i was like this how you talking about your future husband dang i felt like that was giving like a little preview as to what was going to happen so then she had like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her mother and she was telling her that she was stressed about his lack of transparency that he didn't tell her about his credit score or whatever she's nervous because that made her doubt him and the mother was like look i ignored red flags the first time around you see where i'm at and she told her you need to pay attention to everything that makes you feel away and you know the mother was like you know i like him but you know whether this feels right or not if you don't feel like this is the man for you this is the man that you should be marrying then don't do it and so later on that day he wrote her this weak letter child this weak letter her his friends were hyping him up to write this letter i'm like is he trying to rhyme like it sounded like a child wrote it it would have confirmed for me that this is not the one but she was like feeling jittery and nervous and she claimed reading that letter helped and i'm just like that's the letter that helps you girl y'all y'all standards is in the trash <laughs> i'm not even trying to say like it had to be like this amazing piece of romantic literature it's just you could tell that he didn't really put any thought into it and that would have bothered me because we're about to get married this is the time for you to pour out your heart and i just don't think izzy has the range so let's go ahead and get to izzy izzy is just very shady and shifty okay anytime somebody starts asking him questions like even when he's like in the confessional and you know answering those questions and giving his opinion his leg just constantly bouncing he's sweating his eyes just darting everywhere he just doesn't look like a trustworthy person based on his body language alone still at this moment lying about not thinking that his credit score would be a big deal if you'll be dishonest about that i just can't trust you about money in my opinion like if you'll hide your credit score from your partner and she basically has to pull that out of you you already know that's a big conversation yeah you you are untrustworthy and what really gets on my nerves is that he acts like her having reservations about that is her giving up on the relationship or not fighting and he's fighting and i don't understand why she's not fighting why would i fight 
for something that is a lie. They finally get to the altar child and they gave each other these tearful vows. They got family on both sides completely invested. His mother is just, oh, my baby's finally getting married. Her family is just crying. The sisters are just, you know, patting their tears. Under normal circumstances, when people are at an altar, they're for sure getting married. Once we see both of these people at the altar, it's going down. Like there have been cases where on the wedding day, the groom didn't show up, the bride didn't show up, but they'll never make it to the altar. And then the person just be like, I'm done. So I can understand getting involved and, you know, wishing the best for your loved one. But I'm telling you, if I was an audience <laughs> and my loved one was getting married i'm not getting invested like that because i don't know whether y'all gonna say yes or no i don't know that the, the whole point is for us to sit there and find out i mean because everybody's just crying and carrying on i'm like that you don't even know if they're getting married yet for real anyway he went first and he said i do she said i don't she said that she thinks they just need more time at the altar he acted like he understood and agreed and kissed her and obviously he was doing it to save face. He just didn't want to look rejected like he was at the altar. Like, I mean, that is embarrassing. Regardless of whether y'all agree with each other or not, that is very embarrassing because it's happening after y'all gathered y'all family here. And I'm sure you wouldn't walked up there if you really thought the woman was going to say no. You know what I'm saying? So his feelings, ego, pride, all that is hurt. So they kissed each other and everything. And so she ends up walking out in a very dramatic fashion. Once he gets outside and he's in his confessional, he lets out the truth. He's crying and he says that he's so hurt and confused. And really, you just upset that those money bags walked out the door and you're not going to be living in a lap of luxury. Um, Cause I don't think that you truly love Stacy. His mother does come in and coddle him. I mean, console him. Cause it just felt like the mother was coddling him a little bit. She gave him a little sweet analogy about, you know, him getting a shot and it hurts now, but it's going to be better for you later. Cute. And so him and Stacy met up with each other after that. And, um, he confronted her. He said that he feels like the relationship is going backwards and, you know, he didn't realize that they were in two different spots in their relationship. And, you know, he's so heartbroken and in the confessional, mind you, he's like, is it ever going to be the right timing? If I'm the one, why does it matter with the timing? And honestly, I, side note, I tend to agree on that. Like, if you feel like I'm the one, why can't we go ahead and get married? But with you, she don't think you're the one. That's why she didn't marry you. He sat up there and used Titanic as an example of love. Like it, he was being so manipulative. Money shouldn't matter. Looks shouldn't matter. All. What he's failing to realize it's not about your credit score. Yes, it is about your credit score to a certain extent, but it's the fact that you lied because you were deceitful and evaded her questions in inside of the pods and then didn't bring it up afterwards. And she had to pull that out of you. She felt manipulated. And that is why y'all are where y'all are. You probably you probably could have skated by had you been a little bit more honest. And don't say you didn't care nothing about looks when you said that you love a blonde hair with blue eyes and that's exactly what you got. You can't tell me you didn't think that's what she was going to look like when you saw her. And then, like I said, he's in a confessional. He's going off. He's reading. You know, he's real sassy. He said, and I see why you're single at 33. I'm 29 and I can give you everything a 45 year old rich man can and can't. That's the whole point. That's the, you cannot. That's why she's not marrying you. Do you really think that if you had money, she wouldn't have married you? You are delusional. See, the problem is you're too busy getting everybody else's business and reading everybody else and trying to go in on your past relationships. You should have been tending to this credit score and talking to her about that. And now look at you, Johnny getting the last laugh. Mind you, Stacy is not moved. She don't feel no ways tired, child. Okay, she's actually relieved. <laughs> she feels like she made the right decision. And yeah, I just feel like he wants to be carried financially. And he was playing a role in the pods. 
that he did not live up to in the real world. I also feel like had he been a little bit more romantic and actually backed up the things that he was saying in the pods, I think Stacy could have overlooked some of those things. But the fact that she had to force you to buy her flowers, the fact that she had to like call you out and tell you you're not cooking. Yeah, I feel like all of that was a turn off. Stacy, you definitely dodged a bullet. You can also see his character. Like as soon as he gets mad, he's gonna cry and sash you out. She's seen that time and time again from him. And I think she just didn't feel like dealing with it. So it is what it is. I feel like that was the best case scenario for them. Now I'm not gonna lie, Stacy isn't my favorite person, but I don't think she deserved to be latched to him. And then him trying to come after that money when she do try to leave him. So let's move on to Lydia and Milton. You know, I didn't realize that her mother's name was Lydia as well. They had Lydia Sr. That is so cute. I would love to have a junior. <laughs> I know that's probably not gonna fly, but I would love to have a junior. Anyway, if I didn't know the backstory to Lydia and the havoc that she caused this season, I probably would have been in tears watching her interact with her family because you could tell she has a lot of love around her, even with her friends, even with her family. It just seems like they really do love and care about Lydia. And that was a beautiful thing to watch. It didn't make me forget what she did because I do feel like they're trying to uh, do a kind of a little bit of a rebrand for Lydia and give her a really good edit. I'm not falling for it, but you know, it is nice to see family love on each other. But let's just be for real. It could be insert man here. She's not truly in love with Milton, if you ask me. She would have tried to make it work with any man. Look at how she went from sobbing over Izzy straight over to Milton just so she could have somebody. But you know, maybe I'm wrong. Let's move on to Milton. Milton is hilarious. <laughs> Milton was so funny like unintentionally i don't think milton necessarily is like trying to be a comedian or anything but he just has like this offbeat dry sarcastic type of humor that is really funny even though milton is mature in many ways it still gives like a teenager about to get married he could barely put his jacket on when he was sitting at the altar. He had to ask the officiant, do I need to button this? It was just like, Milton, you are a grown man. <laughs> it's like a, almost like a little bit of an innocence to it. Like he it's like, I genuinely don't know. Milton waited to the day of to write his vows. It, Lydia would have been so upset had she known that. Um, his hair was looking a little bit better on his wedding day. Whoever that barber is, Stay with him and let him do his own thing on your hair. Stop telling barbers what to do. Let barbers help you because you don't know what style to do. You you mess around, you get a line of Richie. So he had a one-on-one -on -one with his father and his dad was seemingly supportive um, and was saying that he wasn't going to question his decision on this day and said if anybody did question it, like it really doesn't matter anybody else's opinion because it's your decision. And, you know... I think the father knows this isn't the best decision, but it is what it is. He says, you know, the first two years of marriage is your honeymoon phase and, you know, communication is very important and you don't need to take people, take your partner for granted and you have to learn how to fight fair and, you know, anything will work if you put work into it. And he was, he was giving a lot of good advice. It was funny because Milton would try to say certain things and the dad would cut him off and, you know, it's like, okay, dad, you could let him say one or two things, but Milton does give know-it-all. Like, you ain't never been married. Listen to your dad. He's giving you advice. But at the same time, it's almost like I could see why Milton feels some type of way towards his family because they do kind of treat him like a child, that he wasn't really letting Milton get a word in edgewise. And, um, you know, even when Milton was trying to say certain things, he was like, oh, you just got it all figured out. It's like, He's a grown man. He's about to get married. It is what it is. You said it yourself. Nobody else's opinion matters at this point. So at some point, you just have to let your kids make their own bad decisions. You're only going to push them away by constantly throwing that in their face. So you got to let them fall on their face sometimes. You can't catch them every time they trip. At the end of that conversation, though, he did have some uh, concerns. He was like, 
Other people's reservations about this relationship are making him feel like he's being naive to it. And he's like, well, should I be more worried? And yeah, you should. So we get to the ceremony. His family did look genuinely happy for him, regardless of maybe their reservations. But her mom walked her down the aisle. I thought that was cute. You could see in Milton that his intentions are pure. You could tell that he really does like Lydia and he, you know, wants this to work. Um, once they got down to the I do's, Lydia obviously said I do. She would have said I do in the pods, child. But then when it got to Milton, he kind of paused for a minute and they're like, uh, but he said I do. He thought the officiant wasn't done talking. That's why he took so long to say I do. Afterwards, they're celebrating and it's funny because she wouldn't let him pop the bottle. I'm glad you didn't because he likes to use his teeth to uncork bottles um and then when they were drinking the champagne she was like you do not drink just gulp it like he drank it like it was a shot and at some point he put on her veil and was modeling and it was so fun like, i'm telling you milton is hilarious and he has a very charming personality and i understand how girls could be attracted to milton they were all over each other and um i'm still mad we didn't get to see that third wedding with Renee and Carter. Like I said, stay tuned for my videos coming up this week. We're gonna talk about the couples that were not featured. But um, yeah, next video, I will be talking about the reunion and thank God it wasn't a live one. Thank you for sparing us. And also thank you for inviting Aaliyah and the other people that were not coupled because you might as well, the reunion that we would have had without them would have been a complete flop. So anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? I'd love to hear your opinion. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.